Now let's learn about the non-conventional sources of energy. India currently has six operational nuclear power plants in Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu and Gujarat. The increasing prices, shortage in supply and environmental concerns against using fossil fuels can severely affect our energy security. The answer to the problem of energy security lies in using non-conventional sources of energy like solar energy, wind energy, biogas, tidal energy and geothermal energy. Let's learn about these energies. Nuclear energy Nuclear energy is obtained by altering the structure of atom. When the structure of an atom is altered, too much energy is released in the form of heat. This heat is utilized to generate electric power. Uranium and thorium are used for generating atomic power. These minerals are available in Jharkhand and the Aravalli ranges of Rajasthan. The monazite sand of Kerala is also rich in thorium. Generation of nuclear energy, here we can see the image, solar energy, photovoltaic technology is used to convert solar energy into electricity. The largest solar plant in India is located at Bhagwanpur in Nemic. Solar energy holds great promises for the future. It can help in minimizing the dependence on firewood and animal dung cakes in rural areas. Solar energy also helps in conservation of fossil fuels. This way the solar energy is generated. Wind power India now ranks as the wind super power in the world. The wind farm cluster in Tamil Nadu is the largest cluster in India. Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Gujarat, Kerala, Maharashtra and Lakshadweep are also important centers of wind power production. Windmill now Let's see the production of biogas. Biogas can be produced from shrubs, farm waste and animal and human waste. Biogas is more efficient than kerosene, dung cake and charcoal. Biogas plants can be set up at municipal, cooperative and individual levels. The gober gas plants provide energy and also manure. This is how a biogas is produced. Tidal energy Floodgate dams are built across inlets. The water flows into the inlet during high tide and gets trapped when the gate is closed. Once the tide recedes, the gates are open so that water can flow back to the sea. This is how a tidal energy is produced. Geothermal energy We know that inside of the earth is very hot. At some places, this heat is released on the surface through fissures. Groundwater in such areas becomes hot and rises up in the form of steam. The steam is used to drive turbines. Two experimental projects have been set up in India to harness geothermal energy. This way a geothermal energy is generated. Now let us see the conservation of energy resources. Energy requirements are rising in all parts of India. We are largely dependent on fuel minerals like coal, petroleum and natural gas to fulfill our energy requirements. Minerals are non-renewable resources. Thus, the supply of coal, petroleum and natural gas is limited. Heavy dependence on fuel minerals for energy is not a sustainable plan to meet our future energy requirements. A sustainable path of energy development involves the following points. First is finding renewable non-conventional source of energy. Next, conservation of energy available today. A lot of energy is wasted in a country through inefficient means of usage. We can conserve fuel and minerals like petroleum and natural gas by forming car pools and using public transport instead of private vehicles. And also, 
by using better renewable fuels like biogas in place of coal for cooking. We can conserve energy by switching off all lights, fans and electrical devices when not required and using power saving devices. Minerals and energy resources We know that minerals are defined as naturally occurring homogeneous substances that have a definite internal structure. The classification of minerals as metallic, non-metallic and energy or fuel minerals, occurrence of minerals, igneous and metamorphic rocks in sedimentary rocks by decomposition of surface rocks as alluvial, alluvial deposits in ocean water. Rich mineral resources are peninsula rocks, sedimentary rocks and in Rajasthan. Minerals and energy resources, the uneven distribution of minerals is due to mining, rat hole mining in Meghalaya families lay claim to coal deposits and mine coal by digging long narrow tunnels in the ground which is known as rat hole mining, ferrous and non-ferrous minerals, ferrous minerals. This is iron ore mine, it looks like this. Karnataka has the highest percentage of iron ore in India. Major iron ore belts in India, Orissa Jharkhand belt, Durbastar Chandrapur belt, Bellari Chitradurga Chikmagalur Tumkur belt, Maharashtra Goa belt. Manganese, Manganese ore in India, the highest is in Orissa. Minerals and energy resources, non-ferrous minerals, non-ferrous minerals, copper, aluminium, examples of non-ferrous minerals, the usage of copper, the usage of aluminium, a bauxite mine looks like this and copper mine looks like this. Non-metallic minerals, rock minerals, hazards of mining. Mining is a hazardous industry both for the workers and for the residents. The miners have to work under tough conditions where no natural light is available. There is always a risk of collapse of mine roof, inundation with water and fire. Conservation of minerals. It takes millions of years for the formation of minerals. Compared to the present rate of the consumption, the replenishment rate of minerals is very slow. Hence, mineral resources are finite and non-renewable. Minerals and energy resources. The types of energy resources, conventional energy resources and non-conventional energy resources. Conventional source of energy, coal, lignite, bituminous coal, anthracite coal, petroleum, natural gas and electricity are also source of energy available to us. Let's see the non-conventional source of energy, nuclear, solar, wind power, tidal, biogas and geothermal energy. Here we can see the images of different types of energy. Conservation of energy resources. Energy requirements are rising in all parts of India. We are largely dependent on fuel minerals like coal, petroleum and natural gas to fulfill our energy requirements. Minerals are non-renewable resources. Energy development. Finding renewable, non-conventional source of energy. Conservation of the energy available today. A lot of energy is wasted in our country through inefficient means of usage. Thank you.